I'm going to talk a little bit about um, analog scopes, uh, pseudo differential signals, and triggering. Um, on these nice analog, old analog scopes, there was a way of you know, basically looking at the difference between uh, you know, two, two nodes in a circuit or something like that by essentially taking channel 1 and subtracting channel 2 from it. And the way you would do it is a little trick where you'd, uh, you'd use the add mode that's in the scope uh, to add channel 1 and channel 2, but at the same time you'd invert uh, channel 1 or channel 2. So you essentially add channel 1 to the inversion of channel 2, which essentially creates the difference signal. And that's what the add mode does. So we'll take a look at that in a moment. So I've got uh, two signals going in here right now. One here on channel 1. Now that's the signal that we've seen kind of synchronized here because my trigger source is on channel 1. If I move my trigger source to channel 2, I can see this is the signal I've got on channel 2, a lower frequency uh, you know, kind of triangle wave. Okay. So again, switch to channel 1. I can see it's a higher frequency triangle wave here. So if I, if I put on the, uh, and by moving the trigger source between 1 and 2, I can, you know, synchronize on either one of those and take a look at that. If I move the trigger source to norm, what that does, see both waveforms got stable. And the reason for that is because the norm trigger mode will basically say whatever vertical mode we're in, we're going to derive the trigger signal from that. So in this case, I'm, I've got channel 1 and channel 2 displayed with, in the alt mode. Okay, which means that each sweep is alternating back and forth between showing me channel 1 and showing me channel 2. And we're just, with this norm trigger source, we're just going to alternate the trigger source between those two. So I see both those waveforms are stable. The reality is those things are really not related in frequency. You can kind of see that uh, if I trigger on any one individually, the other one is just kind of rolling. So, but if I go to the norm trigger mode, I can see them both. So what happens if I, you know, if I go to the add trigger mode? or the, excuse me, the add vertical mode to create that pseudo differential signal, the difference between these two. So if I turn that on, let's turn off channel 1 and channel 2. Okay, so I can see this signal now is just kind of rolling around a little bit, okay, because I'm triggering now on channel 1. If I switch to trigger on channel 2, I can see, you know, kind of one superimposed on the other, okay, because it's really just looking at the difference between the two. It depends on which one I trigger on, you know, is which, is, which way I'm going to go see that, whether I trigger on channel 1 or channel 2. But now if I go to the norm uh, trigger mode, what that will do is we'll trigger on the, differ the difference signal, the actual hardware difference between channel 1 and channel 2. If I adjust my threshold here, I can actually get a nice stable display to literally show what that differential signal or pseudo differential signal is doing over time. Okay. So uh, pretty neat you know, in terms of being able to trigger on you know, the difference between two channels. So let's take a look at this on uh, on two other scopes because they all operate just a little bit differently. So I'm going to yank these two signals off of here, and let's follow around over to this scope here. And uh, this is a, a Tech 485, and uh, a little bit older generation, or about the same generation as that 465 we're just using. So now in this case, I've got uh, my one signal here in channel one. Uh, here I've got the trigger source set to internal. Okay. And uh, right now we're triggering on or the internal trigger source. You can see that says right internal trigger is channel 1. If I switch that to channel 2, now I can see the, the lower frequency triangle wave. Channel 1, I can see cha the, uh, the higher frequency, smaller one. And if I go to internal, I can see them both, right, because we're alternating between channel 1 and channel 2. I've got the invert switch on here. So if I do the add, now I'll, I'm triggering on... Or I'm, adding or essentially subtracting the two signals, right? Channel 1 plus the inverse of channel 2 is really the difference between them. If I adjust my trigger level again, I can go see that nice stable waveform that I was looking at earlier. Okay. So one more scope we'll take a look at here just because it's a different implementation again. Is this, this guy here is a uh, 2465, um, very similar to the 2445s, 2467s, you know, a lot of these 2400 series scopes. Uh, the vertical mode is kind of set uh, right in here, the vertical mode control. So now I've got channel 1 and channel 2 on. And uh, right now I've got this set to uh, alt. So that's when, it's, when the light is off. Now it's chop, now it's alt. So I can see the display. Uh, I'm triggering, obviously, on channel 1. If we go look over the trigger controls, you can see I'm triggering. Uh, this is actually the source uh, triggering on channel 1. So you can see the source says channel 1. I change the source to channel 2. Now I can see the, uh, let's move it, adjust my level here, here we go. So I can actually see I'm triggering now on that triangle wave there, uh, the slower one. If I go back to channel 1, now I'm triggering on channel 1. Okay. If I go and hit 
uh, switch this up now. In this case, instead of calling it norm, uh, what we do is we just say uh, the vertical mode is going to be, uh, excuse me, the trigger mode is going to be vertical. So you can see vertical lights up, channel 1 and channel 2 lights are lit because it knows that both channel 1 and channel 2 are on in the alt mode and that's why we light it, it lights up all those automatically and I can see both waveforms. Now if I do the, uh, the add and invert, okay, let me turn off channel 1 and channel 2. So now I can see that signal here, if I adjust my, my trigger threshold, I can see that same waveform now. So now I'm, I'm, I've got the add and the invert turned on, so I'm looking at the difference between channel 1 and channel 2. And uh, that's the vertical mode that I'm in, and by setting the trigger source to vert, it's going to use that mode that I've got set up here and allow me to trigger on that pseudo-differential signal that we're looking at here.